If someone says lowland landscapes, then paragliding probably isn't the first thing that comes to mind. But lowland landscapes don't have to be flat. And that's why, despite being a lowland landscape, the gently rolling or undulating hills of the South Downs have become one of the most popular paragliding spots in the UK. It's also a fantastic example of a scarp and veil landscape. To get to this spot, the paragliders make their way up onto the South Downs via the dip slope. They set up their kit on top of the escarpment and once they're ready, they run down the steep escarpment slope and take to the air over the veil below. The paragliders might not know it, but the main reason this area makes a great launch pad is because over millions of years, different rock types have been affected differently by physical processes like weathering. The South Downs form the southern end of what was once a giant dome of folded sedimentary rocks, pushed up by tectonic movements. Because the chalk is more resistant than the clay beneath, it weathered differently, producing the steep escarpment and gently sloping clay veil below. And geology and physical processes have also combined to shape the landscape in other ways. This is Devil's Dyke. It's an example of a dry valley. There's no river because chalk is porous, so rainwater seeps into the ground rather than flowing over it. But during the last ice age, around 15,000 years ago, the water in the chalk froze, so the rivers flowed overland, eroding the V-shaped sides of the valley that remain today. 